shooter or anything else that you want to shoot. First, what you're gonna want to do or get is duct tape, straw, straws, toothpick, rubber band, paper towel roll, or I guess toilet paper roll, scissors, and a balloon, or I guess a condom. Now, I would, before we get started, recommend, basically the longer the tube, the better. I have one made. Right here. I made it out of a, like, what do you call it, wrapping paper thing. And I made mine longer. But I know most people only have this, so I'm going to show you how to make it here. But it's basically the same thing, just except instead of this, this. So if you actually have this, use it. I don't actually have another paper towel, or um, rubber paper cylinder roll. So that's why I'm using this to show. But basically, if I recommend that one that more. But if you don't, this still works fine, works great. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is take your balloon and cut that part off right there. Like, cut the part where you blow the balloon up off. Take it, discard it. So it looks like this. Then you're going to want to take your paper towel roll and take the balloon and put it at one end of it. So it looks like this. Then, what you're going to want to do is take your duct tape. Oh, screw it. Take your duct tape. Wrap it around the thing, around the end of the balloon part, so that basically it's airtight. And then take it and press it. Then what you're going to want to do after you're done is take your rubber band and put it around it and wrap it around it again. And around three or four times. Then what you're going to want to do is take another piece of duct tape. matter if you like going all like this because then it just goes back. And what I do as a test is to make sure it's good. I pull my tube. Okay, hold on. But yeah. So yeah. Pull right there but yeah basically you're gonna want to be able to make it so this part here is airtight and that way it should be strong
then, well, you're actually done with the actual shooter itself. Now, you can now just take your straw and put it down in there. Hold it, pinch it, shoot it. But I'm going to end it. That works. It goes around 15 feet. And I got shot by it. And it, it leaves an actual kind of a small little welt. But it's not very accurate. Because when you shoot it, since it has the hole right here, air goes through. And when it loses it, it goes up. It curves up like that. But I'm going to show you how you can make really amazing ammo. And if you make it like this, it should go at least, probably, I'd say, 45 to 50 feet. If there's, like, no wind. Or you can shoot inside your house. Now what you're going to want to do is take a straw, take a piece of duct tape, Over the straw, like, like that. Perfect. Then take your toothpick, poke it through the end, and go around halfway. Then you're gonna want to take another piece of duct tape. on the toothpick and halfway on the straw and wrap it around nice and tight and then once you got that just twist it just twist so that now it's like nice and tight onto your toothpick and then you're done I just add an extra two you can make more than one of these and